Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to Let's Make a Mod episode 25 of the series and this time we're going to be making achievements. So we're going to make two special achievements, one for crafting ourselves a donut and the second one is when you mine our green gem and pick up the actual gem, you're going to get yourself an achievement following after the donut. So if you best understand me, how about we get started and see what we could do. So if you guys haven't already noticed in Mob Talker, I have already updated it to version 1.2 and what I added in was some achievements. So I added in some achievements, how about we check out the achievements? They're right here. So you'll see that the first one is kind of special, it has some like special format or grid around it, and then it leads on to the second one which is like a gunpowder icon, and then it goes to a spider web, a, a bone, a slime, all the way up, because each one of these indicate the special mobs that you kill from Mob Talker, such as the Enderman, the Ender Pearl, the slime, the slime ball or the, you know, skeleton, the, the bone. So anyways, guys, we're going to be adding in two achievements, and I'm sure after you've learned how to add in two achievements, I'm sure you can make even more. But uh, how about we get started? What we're going to do is we're going to go to Eclipse. So here's my Eclipse. I'm going to go here to Client, Source, and Net Minecraft Source, where all my sources are located at. So I'm going to look for my mod underscore Minecraft. So what I'm going to do is press M, and it should lead me all the way to the M section. I'm going to scroll down a little bit until I find mod underscore Minecraft, which is right here. So I'm going to double click that. And there we have it. Here's my mod underscore Minecraft. You could make a new mod underscore if you want, but uh, there's no need to do that. It's best to keep everything in one mod underscore if you could. Anyways, here's my food section right here in the public static final section right here. This is where my food is at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new section and I'm going to call it rewards. So there we go. I'm going to call this section rewards, press enter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave all of the source codes, everything that you need in my forum. So you just go down to section 25 and you open it up and you could just copy and paste the code and do whatever you want with it. But anyways, my code is located right here in this mod underscore SCM owns extra. Uh, I left it in here because this is the actual one that I use for mob talker So I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna copy this first line of code for you You're gonna go to my forum and get the code yourself. So anyways, here's the first line of code I'm gonna open up my eclipse go back and what I'm gonna do is in the section rewards that I created I'm gonna go ahead and paste myself that line of code So what this line of code defines is public static final achievement. We're gonna add in an achievement not an item or block an achievement so uh public static final achievement achievement mob talker what we're going to do is remove mob talker we don't need that anymore and i'm going to call it achievement food this is our food achievement when you craft yourselves our food item up here you know that donut that we have uh you have to use sugar then you're going to get yourself an achievement after all so um it's going to equal achie achievement food is going to equal a new achievement and here's the item id of this achievement you have to make sure it's unique and different from other achievements so i'm going to remove this 5,500 and put 5,400. Oh, it's so, it's so different. So there we go. 5,400 and now right here it says Achievement Mob Talker. So what you're going to do here is you have to make sure it's the same name as what you called it, Achievement Food. So I'm going to copy this, Achievement Food, go here to Achievement Mob Talker, highlight that and just remove it and make sure that it says Achievement Food. Just make sure it's the same name that what you have called it and defined it. Anyways, let's scroll over. You'll see that after the quotations uh, string, you'll see that there's something new right here. What are these numbers doing here? 13 and 9. What those numbers indicate is where the icon is located on the grid of the achievement GUI. Hopefully I said that correctly. Uh, just basically these numbers define the X, the X and Y of where your, your achievement icon is located at. I'm going to best explain this when we mess around with it. So I'm going to change it up. I'm going to make sure that it says, uh, how about we make it 10 and 9. There we go. So I'm going to make sure it's in 10 and 9. Scroll over and you'll see that right here it says block web. So this is the icon and what it shows. So let me go to my achievements and show you the picture again. So when you first get your first achievement ever, um, this is what icon it's going to show. For me, it's block.web and that's what I use for uh, Mob Talker. The reason why I didn't use the actual Mob Talker icon is because for some odd reason, if you add in this an item, it doesn't really show up for some reason. You have to use default Minecraft items and blocks that already add into Minecraft. So anyways, uh, like I said, right here is block web. You see that it shows up a web when you first cr get the achievement. This is the icon. Over here is the icon gunpowder. Over here is string, bone, and all that other stuff. So you're going to go here, and if you want it to show a web, then you could keep it like that. Or if you want it to show, um, let's say, sugar, then you could keep it whatever you want. So I'm going to put item.sugar, because we're going to be crafting it with sugar. So I'm going to put item.sugar, and there you have it. 
Now this null right here, you just leave it blank if this is your first achievement. So make sure that it's blank if, the, if you want this achievement to stand alone, such as right here, it has to be by itself because it doesn't attach with any other achievements. I'm gonna go over this when we make our second achievement. So just leave this null if this is your first achievement that you're making and dot set special with some brackets. So what dot set special mean is if you go to the picture, you'll see that these brackets right here, these little icons don't have a squiggly, uh, I don't know how to explain a little bracket around it. You see right here, our first achievement is special because it's totally different. How it looks is different from the second achievement, the third one, and all the way up to the last one. The last one is special too because you see that it has that little special bracket around the icon. So yeah, so if you want it to look special, then just put dot set special. So this is my first achievement. I'm gonna leave it at dot set special. And now, uh, if this is your first achievement, make sure that you put dot set independent. So uh, for some reason, if you don't put dot set independent, uh, make sure that you don't put that for the second achievement that you make because if this is your first achievement then uh, you have to make sure that it's independent because that's where it starts. That's where all of this attaching starts because this is independent and this gunpowder could attach to it and so on and so on to the last one. So just make sure that this is dot set independent. That's what I've come up with and that's what I figured out if you just put dot set independent. So uh, that's it and then dot register achievements. So once you are done with the first line of code, now we have to define it using mod loader. So now we have officially made it for it to be ready for mod loader. So how about we go scroll down to public void load and make a new section. I'm going to call this rewards. So there we have it. I'm going to call this place rewards and I'm going to go ahead and go to my source location. I'm going to copy this line of code, which you're going to do the same thing if you go to my forums and you're just going to paste it. So there you go, mod achievement description. And what is the name of the achievement? It is not achievement mob talker. You're gonna remove that and put achievement food. There you have it. And what, this is the achievement that you get when you first get the achievement, it's gonna say, let's talk. How about we remove this and put yummy since you crafted yourself a food item, we're gonna put yummy. And how could you obtain this uh, yummy achievement? Uh, right here says craft the mob talker. We're gonna remove that and we're gonna put craft or no, no no it's already said it says craft so craft a, a donut donut there we go so craft yourself a donut all right so we are done with that so now you have to craft yourself a donut in order to get this achievement and now once you have added in that line of code now it's uh time to add in the final bit of code which is how to get the achievement you have to tell your game how are you going to get yourself this achievement. So we're going to copy this line of code and links in description as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll all the way down where I added in my fuel. Here's my fuel. And I'm going to go ahead and paste this in right over here after I define it. So I'm going to put double bracket reward. I'm going to call this just rewards. So rewards. I'm going to paste that right in and here we go. So this is pretty much telling um, your mod how you're going to get this achievement. So public void taken from crafting so I'm gonna show you guys exactly where I got this line of code at right here taken from crafting if you guys search for base mod if I go here to search and search file for base mod oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna remove that and just look for a base mod and put search it should show me its actual class here it is base mod so we're gonna open that up and you'll see that um, the only way this achievement can unlock itself is if it if you get it from a crafting table That's why it says right here taken from crafting So if you if you craft this donut and you take it from the crafting table That's when it unlocks the achievement So if you go to base mod right here, you could see what else you could use it for so right here public void on item pickup So if you pick up an item then you could get yourself an achievement You just copy this line of code and just replace this right here taken from crafting and all this other stuff uh, entity entity item stack item stack you just remove that and you put um, on item pickup so if you happen to pick up some special item then you get yourself an achievement which we're gonna be using this line of code in our second achievement right now we're making one okay so when you take this from the crafting table what is it what is it gonna look for in it in order to unlock the achievement what it's gonna look for is this item right here dot shifted index so we're gonna remove this we're gonna remove that, this mod underscore SC modes mob talker, remove that and put your mod. So mod underscore Minecraft dot, and we're gonna look for food zero one. So after you craft yourself a mod underscore Minecraft food zero one dot shifted index, since it's an item, or you can make, you can actually put dot block ID if you wanna block. And uh, it's gonna search for this item once you craft it, and it's gonna give you this achievement right here entity player add stats. 
and it's gonna give you this achievement right here. And this one, just leave it alone. You don't really have to mess with this. Um, I just left it at one. Anyways, right here, this is the achievement you're gonna unlock. So I'm gonna remove this mob talker, and I'm gonna put food. There we go. So you're gonna get yourself the achievement food if you craft this right here, since it's taken from a crafting. All right, so hopefully you best understand that. How about we press play and just show you exactly everything I was talking about. I'm gonna press play, press okay. And then I'm gonna go here to single player, go into any world that I like. And now if I craft myself a, uh, let me go ahead and unlock this achievement by pressing E. You see that it says right here, uh, achievement get, because you know, you, you obviously press E to open up your inventory, but you saw that how it was yellow. That's because it's in a special achievement, okay? So um, let's check this out. Where exactly is our achievement? There it is, right here, yummy. And you see that it's special because it, it has that yellow text above it. So if you put dot set special, then that's how you get yourself the yellow text and you make it look all nice, like with the special bracket around the icon, such as right here. When you defeat the end and get yourself the, uh, the end dragon egg or whatever, you get yourself the special brackets and you see that it's colored yellow as the name. But if you guys look over here, you'll see that there's only a few things that are special right here. You see that on the on a rail is quite special, but over here if you craft yourself a furnace, then it's not very special because it doesn't have that special bracket around its icon. So there we go. We have to craft ourselves a donut in order to get ourselves the yummy achievement. So let's go ahead and do that. I have myself some sugar right here. I'm just gonna place it because I know how to craft myself my donut. Once I get this, I'm gonna get my achievement. And there you go, achievement get yummy. There we have it. So if I press escape, go to achievements, scroll all the way down, then there you go. I have unlocked myself a uh, yummy, delicious donut. And that is the picture right there that I've defined because we put right up here. Let's scroll all the way up. I put right here item dot sugar. And if you see that is the icon, it's a sugar item. So how about we add in another achievement for it to attach to, to this achievement. So you have to unlock this achievement before you reach the other achievement. So how about we make one more achievement and we could call it a wrap then. So I'm going to go to save and quit, exit this off and make ourselves another achievement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to public static. I'm going to copy this line of code right here and just paste that right underneath it. But instead I'm going to change the name up. I'm going to put achievement gem. So this is called the achievement gem when you mine my ore and you pick up the gem for your first time, then you're gonna unlock this achievement. The item ID has to be different, so make sure that it's different by one number. So there we go, 5,401. Now, right here, I have to make sure that this says achievement gem. It has to match the name of the actual achievement. So achievement gem. And now here is where it's located on the grid. So how about we change this number to 12? So there we go, 10, 12. You have to make sure that uh, this, these numbers are quite different except for the first ones. This is the X and right here is Y So you could just keep the X the same but change the Y a bit. All right So what is it gonna look what icon is it gonna display? So let's go to item What's a good? Let's see what what's a good item to display when you get this gem? How about we give them a? Uh, hmm, let's just throw in a bone you get yourself a bone somehow when you get yourself my my gem may I say when you when you mine and get my gem you're gonna get yourself a icon of a bone all right so right here this is where this null comes in handy this is what attaches so what we're gonna do is copy over achievement food the name achievement food replace this null with achievement food so now in order to unlock the achievement gem you have to make sure that you have the achievement food unlocked before you receive the achievement gem so if you want your achievement gem to only be unlocked when you get yourself the first achievement then make sure that you put the first achievement name right here and replace the null all right so now we're going to make sure that this second achievement is not special it's not going to be very special so we can remove this line of code and it's not independent anymore because it's going to be attached to something so remove dot set independent all right now what we're going to do is define the second line of code in order to do that you just go back down and copy modloader dot add achievement and you just paste that right in. I'm gonna paste it right underneath it. So I'm gonna remove uh, the food right here and make sure that it says gem. And what what is it gonna be called? Oh, I'm gonna put green gem. That's, that's when you happen to unlock the achievement. It's gonna say green gem. And uh, let's just remove this. You're not gonna be crafting the gem. And we're gonna be calling it uh, pick up. Pick up a green gem. And that's the only way to unlock this achievement. You have to pick a, you have to pick yourself up a green gem. So now how about we go all the way down and now we have to tell our mod how you're going to get yourself this achievement. So what we're going to do is I could just simply go to my source and just copy the line of code. 
but let me just scroll all the way down all right i'm gonna go ahead and copy the line of code let's see what we're gonna do here um yeah let's just copy this so i'm gonna copy this line of code right here and go back and i'm gonna paste it right in right about right about here i'm gonna press enter and paste that right in there we go now it should be able to work all right so remember guys if you get yourself a red x right here this red x you have to make sure that you add in another bracket in top there you go so it should be able to clear itself up so anyways public void on item pickup if you see where i got this like i said you go to base mod and that's where i got this right here base mod this is what i use on item pickup entity var one all that and all you do is just, just paste that right in and it should be able to work this is on item pickup so what are you gonna pick up in order to unlock this achievement right here it says if item stack equals if it finds this item in your inventory then you're gonna unlock this achievement right here so we're gonna remove this and make sure that it says uh, mod underscore minecraft and we're gonna put dot green gem where is that at green sword green axe green solid where is that at green gem I think it's called green gem if I'm not mistaken it should be green gem somewhere on here or is it green item which one is it? I forgot what I named my actual ore. Uh, let me just scroll all the way up to see what I named it. Oh, yeah, I did, I did name it green gem. I know I didn't show up, so I'm going to go to mod underscore dot green gem. Green gem, and there you go. It should be able to work now. If you pick up this item, green gem, then it's going to unlock the item pickup achievement. And what achievement is that? It's not called C kill creeper. It's achievement gem. There you have it. So now it's going to unlock this achievement when you pick up the green gem. It's going to activate the, the green achievement. So what you're going to do is right here, it says number two instead of number one. Just make sure every time you unlock a new achievement or add yourself a new achievement that you change this number and add it up by one. So if I make another achievement, I'm going to remove this two and make sure it's a three. And then if you make another achievement, it's four. And then another is five. And then keep on going until you make unlimited achievements. I'm not sure how much you can make. But uh, every time you make another achievement, just make sure to increase the number of value right here. So now what we're going to do is press play because we have already added in another achievement. But this one's different. You have to pick up the item instead of crafting it. So let's go ahead and press play. And also, if you go to base mod and you scroll down, you'll see that you could also get an achievement from taking, it, taking something from a furnace. It says right here, taken from furnace. So if you pick something up from the furnace, then you get yourself that achievement. We could, we could use that for our shiny gem, but yeah let's go to single player go into any world that we like and now if we happen to place down uh let's place down ourselves an ore and then change ourselves into survival and mine it so here is our where's our green ore here it is here's our green ore i'm gonna place it down i'm gonna change my game mode so slash game mode game mode zero and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mine this ore and you see that there's a lot of green gems in front of me if i pick it up wait before i pick it up remember guys I can't pick it up unless I unlock the first achievement. You see that it's attached to each other. I can't unlock this achievement unless I unlock this achievement, the yummy one. So how about we go back, craft ourselves a donut because we have to make sure that we craft that. And there we go. There's our first achievement. Now we can unlock the second achievement. Let's scroll down. Here it is. So you have to pick up a green gem in order to unlock this one. Let's pick up a green gem. And there you have it. You have got yourself a achievement. And there you guys have it, guys. Hopefully, it wasn't too confusing. I'm recording this pretty late. Probably, you know, it's 11 o'clock. It's not really that late compared to you guys, but uh, usually I don't make videos at 11 o'clock. So anyways, guys, there you guys have it. If you go to achievements, you have un unlocked and added in two achievements. Pretty cool, right? So anyways, guys, if you guys enjoy this series, be sure to leave a rating before you leave. I would really appreciate it. If you're still watching this video from right now, post a comment saying, dude, I watched all of it, man. I'm awesome. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you.